I think that Bitcoin looks ready for brand new all-time highs and in today's YouTube video, I will be providing you guys with my brand new trading ideas on both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Higher time frame wise, Bitcoin still looks absolutely stunning. We can see that last week we got another dip in which we took out this major low over here. We once again tapped into that major range low area that I've been speaking about for many, many weeks now. And we can see that once again, we provided ourselves with a beautiful bounce from that high time frame range low. We know that from a range perspective, as long as this range low area holds, technically speaking, we should be attacking this major range high area over here, which is also where we have the previous all-time high for Bitcoin. On the other hand, we can also see that EMA-wise, we reclaimed the 200 and 100 EMA on the 4-hourly time frame. EMA-wise, we also wicked beneath the 200 EMA on the daily time frame, and we swiftly went beneath the 100 EMA on the daily time frame, and we also reclaimed those two very very important emas so i think everything is lining up pretty pretty well for new all-time highs we can also see that as discussed in last week's video that we shift the structure over here so the local downtrend that we were in at first with lower lows and lower highs constantly being formed on the chart we can see that we are now slowly shifting that local downtrend to a local uptrend again on the daily time frame now i'm still holding this major swing long position on bitcoin but i'm also looking for an intraday long position that i will be providing you guys with right now because when we look at this hour one structure we can see something very very interesting we can see that when we look at the previous price section over here from the past we can see that we have ourselves a very high probability liquidity sweep right over here how come that this is a high probability liquidity sweep because of this structural shift over here and this fake structural shift over here because of this structural shift over here and the fake one slightly higher and this push towards the upside i think many people would have thought that the bitcoin bottom was in so that means that many people were opening up long positions up on this push towards the upside or they were opening up long positions upon this pullback to the downside right over here. Now, where were they looking to find their invalidation? Obviously, they were putting the stop of those longs beneath the low over here, which made sure that the price action over here from the past was engineering lots of liquidity over here. And we know that we can only trust a liquidity sweep if there's actual liquidity being engineered on the chart. Now, when we, for example, look at these two liquidity sweeps over here, and we analyze the previous price section that was being formed right before those liquidity sweeps. Can we really argue that the liquidity sweeps over here were valid and high probability liquidity sweeps? I don't think so. I think these were pretty low probability liquidity sweeps. And therefore, we should ask ourselves if we can trust this break of structure over here which is why i told you guys that i was looking for shorts last week over here unfortunately my short order over here got front run but eventually we met our target we got the high probability liquidity sweep and then we got a push towards the upside that gave us a valid break of structure over here on friday so that means that structure was being shifted back towards the upside again higher time frame alignment is pointing towards more upside and because of this high probability liquidity sweep and high probability break of structure over here we can find ourselves an invalidation for our bullish thesis beneath the low over here. Now, what is super interesting to me is that when we start looking at a potential execution over here on Bitcoin and we start having a look at this price action over here, what have I told you guys about price action that is taking place over the weekend? That we cannot trust this type of price action. We can see that even though we got ourselves a lovely and very clean sweep over here that was engineering liquidity over here beneath this low and then we swept that liquidity making this high significant high to break and we saw a pump towards the upside breaking structure over here. If this for example would have happened over Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, I would have said, okay, we have found ourselves a very clean invalidation over here for our bullish thesis, and that pullbacks over here are high probability long position starting higher levels but now in this case because this price action over here took place over the weekend there's a high probability according to my system and my analysis that the people that are opening up long positions over here or upon the pullback because of this previous price action from the past 
they're actually getting trapped into long positions and they're actually engineering liquidity beneath the low over here. Which means that in my opinion, yes, we have found ourselves a trigger to start looking for longs because of this previous price action from the past over here. We can only start looking at executions for that long once we take out the low over here. My system doesn't allow me to look for longs until we take out the low over here, which means that I'm simply going to wait until we take out that long. That's where I'll be looking for long positions on Bitcoin with my invalidation over here. And then I'm indeed going to target a range high, which basically means that I'm targeting a new all time high for Bitcoin as my main draw liquidity and as my main take profit target. And that would offer an RR of approximately four. Now for the exact execution, you obviously have to join our Discord server. You can find the link in the description down below. Make sure to join the Discord server to get free education, free trade ideas, and a supportive community. Now let's move over to our Ethereum trading idea. The higher time frame of Ethereum is still following my plan to a T. We can still see that we are potentially looking at this major high time frame accumulation manipulation over here before expansion towards the upside right which means that i'm still looking to position myself into swing long positions over here within this manipulation area which is what i'm already doing as per my videos the past few weeks but i'm also looking for intraday long positions now when i move to the four hourly time frame the first thing that i found pretty interesting for ethereum is the fact that we were forming this smt with bitcoin so bitcoin was forming a lower low over here but Ethereum, on the other hand, was forming a higher low. Now, this is a strong sign for a potential reversal, which also basically means that Ethereum is kind of a little stronger compared to the Bitcoin chart for now, which means that maybe we should prefer looking for longs on Ethereum over Bitcoin. Now, we can also see that the structure on Ethereum was pretty clean. We took out some major liquidity over here beneath these equal lows. And after taking out that major liquidity, we got ourselves a valid break of structure over here. Now, how come that this was a valid break of structure? Because the low over here slightly swept this low. So that means that the high that we form after this lower low becomes a significant high to break if that high brings us to another lower low, which it did over here. Then by bringing ourselves to that lower low right there and tapping into that dem this demand area over here, we provided ourselves with a lovely little bounce that gave us a valid break of structure. So now the trend is back towards the upside and maybe we are going to indeed confirm this higher low over here as per my videos and analysis over the past few weeks where I told you guys that I'm expecting a triple low to be formed over here before the reclaim and expansion higher. But to check out that higher time frame analysis, check out my previous updates on both Twitter and YouTube. Now, that means that besides a swing long that I'm already in for Ethereum, we can also start looking at a potential intraday long. Now, what I really like about this is this slow grind towards the upside over here that results into this flush towards the upside. Now, that means that because of this pump over here, once again, guys, many, many people are foaming into long positions over here and they will be having their stops resting beneath the lows right over here, which basically means that we are engineering lots of liquidity beneath these lows. Now, we can also see that on the four hourly time frame, beneath the lows is also where we have this previous supply over here that gave us this last local impulse to the downside. So basically we can say that the lows over here are acting as an inducement for this kind of breaker area over here, previous supply that should be turning into demand before higher targets. Which means that for Ethereum, I'm having a similar plan as for Bitcoin. I'm going to await a sweep of the weekend lows. I'm going to await a tap into that demand area and I'll be looking for longs over here on Ethereum. Instead of having my invalidation over here, I'll have my invalidation beneath the low of the SMT divergence. And eventually also for Ethereum guys, as per your target, you always want to take the higher time frame alignment into account, which means that in this case, if this scenario is indeed going to play out, I'm simply going to target the range high of that accumulation range right over here, which is basically this entire area over here. Now let's say that we are going to target the 
bottom of that range high area that still offers a major RR of 15 and a half, which means that next to my current swing long positions on Bitcoin and on Ethereum, I'm going to be building intraday long positions on Bitcoin and Ethereum as well, if we get a flush first to take out the weekend lows before reversing towards the upside. So the plan is extremely, extremely simple. We are always taking into account the higher time frame context before we start looking at a potential lower time frame bias and execution, which means that we are not only building swing longs on the higher time frame for both Bitcoin and for Ethereum, but if we are indeed going to take out the weekend lows on both Bitcoin and Ethereum, I'll also be looking to build intraday longs. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that I'm also going to be looking for intraday shorts targeting those weekend lows. We can easily pump higher from here. That is something that not a lot of people understand. A lot of people might think now, but Jip, if you're targeting those weekend lows, why not short Bitcoin and Ethereum towards those weekend lows? It's very, very simple. If my higher time frame context and bias is telling me that higher prices are likely, I'm not looking for shorts. I'm simply going to wait for the highest probability execution possible on longs. And if I don't get my execution, I still have my swing longs that will offer me major profit as well. 